welcome back to the channel guys today we are talking all about tubes and anytime smallmouth fishing gets brought up I guarantee you somebody is talking about fishing the tube so today I'm gonna break down how exactly I fish a tube and that is using the stupid tube method and what that is it's a tube that utilizes a jig head that you can rig weedless okay so traditional jig heads or tube inserts this goes into the body of the soft plastic and it would look like something like this and you got this hook exposed okay that would be sticking out of the plastic just like that because you can imagine that would get hooked up on everything so if you like getting hung up on logs and rocks and everything fish one of these traditional ones that's exactly what's gonna happen I promise you uh, this does give a really good motion though that baits gonna be spiraling through the water like this I don't know the bass love it but you will get hung up a lot with the stupid tube this bait when you throw it in the presentation just glides down okay this I fish just like a Texas rig or a Ned rig once it gets to the bottom you know, I might just drag it across. You got these little tentacles just going to town in the current. I might pop it. I might just raise the rod tip up and make it hop. So there's multiple different ways to fish the stupid tube, okay? It's a little bit more streamlined. You don't have the hook sticking out. This right here is the Bass Pro Shop Tour Grade. And this is not an extra wide gap hook. This is just a round bend hook. But the way the 60 degree line tie will allow you to also rig this weedless, okay? And that's exactly what I have in this one. And you see that's rigged weedless. That is not gonna get hooked up on anything. Okay, the other option we have is an extra wide gap hook. And I haven't determined which one I like the best out of these. But I will say I'm a big fan of fishing the Texas rig, and this is pretty much the same way. Okay, I'll show you guys how to rig this up, but I'm also going to show you the different types that I use, okay? And we'll talk about that first. Okay, so the different types that I use, like I said, I use the round bend tour grade version and the extra wide gap hook version. This extra wide gap hook, I always get those in a 3 16 ounce weight. Okay, it's got this lead head on it. This right here is just an eighth ounce. Okay, so I keep it pretty light. Some people go up to a quarter ounce. That's cool too, depending on the current you're gonna fish in, you may need a heavier weight. Okay, so I only get eighth ounce, 3 16 ounce, all the way up to maybe 3 8 ounce. Uh, and keep it very simple that way. And guys, I'll order these. I'm going to place the link in the description box. But I get these right off of Bass Pro's website. And I find that you can get these in an 8-pack. Whereas other brands, you can only get like a 4-pack. And they're more expensive than these. But this is actually a VMC hook that comes with the Bass Pro ones. The Tour Grade versions. These are the same price as the extra wide gap hook ones. Okay, so depending on the style and preference you have is I guess what you go with guys you can try out either one okay so I have both hooked up here you can see both of them have a 60 degree line tie this right here though with this extra wide gap hook is going to be a little bit larger in profile so those smallies have very good vision look at that that sticks out pretty good you could get the the lead head buried in there a little bit better uh, but that right there is gonna be a little bit more visible as that's going through the water, I don't know. Maybe that makes a difference. I don't know, I've caught a ton on this. When this gets bit, that right there is gonna move out of the way. This is gonna hold that in place. This is not gonna slide down. This extra wide gap hook is gonna allow that to move out of the way and you to hook up that fish really well. Okay, I've had very, very good hookup ratio success with these. And also with these. This right here also, that jig head or tube insert is gonna allow that to stay in place. This right here is gonna move out of the way. You're not gonna have as much room, but 
I haven't noticed a difference with the hookup ratio with these round bin hooks either. So they all work very well, and I think you'll be surprised by the results. And at the end of the day, you're not getting hung up on all that structure and cover in the water. It's gonna make your day on the water a lot more pleasant, I promise you. And once again, rig it weedless. Weedless, guys. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick. Okay, so you have your tube, and these are three, I think these are three and a quarter inch tubes. You can use a four inch tube. It all works, guys, but I wouldn't go any smaller than that. But what you do, flip the tube upside down, you're gonna insert it into the body of the tube and just work it around. So what you wanna do is come out of the plastic. See that, it's about maybe half an inch, quarter of an inch up. Come out of the plastic. Okay, so the hook's gonna be in this direction. I'm pulling that through, and you could wet the jig head if you wanted to, make it easier to slide through. And then you're just gonna have to kind of work that. And I found with these smaller tubes, it is gonna puncture out a little bit. That's okay. And then you just kind of work it around. Make sure it's lined up in the middle. I'm gonna get that line tie where I want it, and I'm just gonna poke that through. Boom. Poke that line tie through. Okay, you got that where you want it. I'm gonna line it up to make sure that I'm center of the soft plastic. I'm gonna pinch that up, come through the center of the plastic there. As you can tell, just like that. Okay, and you see that extra wide gap hook, the barb is laying perfect against that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pull back on the plastic and puncture it back into the plastic there. Weedless, guys. Make your day a lot easier. These things are awesome. It's gonna change your whole smallmouth fishing mindset. It's gonna change your whole experience, I promise. All right, guys, so that was just a short introduction into how I rig the stupid tube. And there's all kinds of videos out on YouTube on how to do this. Mike Iaconelli has a bunch. There is a bunch out there. But guys, the stupid tube, Go out, hit up Bass Pro Shops, wherever, get the VMC Dominator ones. You're gonna be happy. Guys, go out, fish that stupid tube, catch a lot of smallmouth bass. You know, hit me up in the comments if you've used the stupid tube before. Let me know, I'd like to have feedback from you guys in that comment box. I'm gonna put the link in the description box to these tubes and these tube inserts. And I think you're gonna be happy, guys. And like always, Hit that like button, subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and guys, keep it blue collar.